Hi everyone, today here we have the DJI Agros T20P at Talos Drones. Uh, we received them yesterday, so it's exciting to see a new drone and how it looks like, what are the differences between the T20P and the Agros T40 because they were released in China at the same time, but in the US first uh, in October of 2022, they released the T40, but last month they released the T20P. So first thing first, we want to open up the box to see what's inside of it. If you like to order one, you can contact us at 800-953-0923 or support at talosdrones.com to purchase one of these for yourself. If you're in the US, it takes anywhere between two to five days to receive them since they are in stock in Riverside, California. Alrighty. Let's get to it and take out this top part of the box, yes. Let's dig a little, little bit. So that white part is stuck in. Well, actually it's okay. So, first thing I noticed is that the Agres T20P um, looks very similar to the T40. It didn't come with the battery cooling kit at the top of it. It's em it was empty at the top. So, uh, uh, Caesar, could you please help me put it on top of here? One, two. Let's put it here. All righty. And So this is the remote controller's case. All right. And I'll move these out of here too. Put them aside. That's okay. Okay, we finally took off all the bubble wraps and everything. So the obstacle weighting sensor, the camera, the LED lights that they are kind of like headlights if you fly your drone at night. Uh, the binocular system or visual sensor for obstacle avoidance. All of these are the same between the T20P and T40. So they are like interchangeable. I could use the radar from the T20P on a T40 and vice versa. The sprinkler system is the same too or they call it like centrifugal nozzles, you can control the droplet size that you will have multiple options. If you want ultra fine, fine, medium size droplet sizes or coarse and extra coarse, you will control all of that from the remote controller and uh, the remote controller sends a signal to the drone to control the speed of, uh, the, speed of the spinner disc. There is a spinner disc here and another one here. The pumps are the same between T40 and T20P uh, as well. So I will open the arms. What I find uh, interesting is just by looking at it, the arms look like they're aluminum. They're not carbon fiber, which is the first Agres drone that I see uh, and I've been working with the Agres drone since 2000, uh, 2016, the MG series, always they had carbon fiber. Uh, this one has aluminum. At least it looks like it. I will need to do uh, double check on that. All right. The propellers, the size of the propellers is the same as the T40. The motor is exactly the same motor as the T40. Uh, it says it here. Uh, yeah, 133, 48 kV. It's the same exact motor as the T40. Um, the only difference is that T40 has 
one motor at the top on each arm, one motor at the bottom, and the arms are different too. So now we can come closer to here. So yes, as you can see, uh, it has the 12 megapixel camera that can be used for creating uh, uh, orchard missions or 3D maps of uh, your orchard fields. But it's if you have a very large orchard, it's recommended to use a Mavic 3 multi-spectral for that purpose instead of this because uh, this one is good for when you have about seven acres or so. Then we look at here, these are the, on both sides, if we go a little back, uh, because I want to show these two. Oh, okay. So then we have these, uh, that they are the headlights. And right here we have the visual sensors for obstacle avoidance. Uh, the obstacle avoidance radar, it's a LiDAR system. Then here you can see that this looks like it's, the arms are aluminum instead of carbon fiber. We have the ESC module here, or motor controller, that controls the speed rotation per minute of the motor. Propellers are made of carbon fiber. Here is the motor information. This is SDR antenna. It's what's connecting the, this is uh, what's connecting the drone to the remote controller. And uh, to fly the drone, you do not need internet. You just need it for logging into your account or if you want to have a better resolution map or if you want to uh, basically upload your flight record to the DJI Agricultural Management Platform or DJI Smart Farm app. So here you can see this is a, identical to the T40 nozzle system and uh, it has a spinner at the bottom too. So if you, you need to come here. Yeah, you can see that the liquid comes from here, falls on the spinner, and it spins out and uh, creates different uh, types of droplet size that you can control on the remote controller. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, look at the tank now. So this right here is the battery compartment, and the tank here, you can see it shows you 20 liters that's uh, where it's, uh, you can see how much liquid you put in the tank. We open the lid, there is a filter, and there is another filter at the bottom too. This comes out and you can show the inside of the tank. So you can see uh, there is another filter here that is uh, for filtering the chemical if it dries out at the bottom. And there is another sensor as well, uh, that is a white sensor that, show, that will be used when the tank is empty. However, now we go back. Under the tank here, you can come here. These are weight sensors. So there are three weight sensors, two, uh, one on the left, one on the right, and one in the front that they're used to tell you how many liters or gallons of chemical you have in your tank. Yeah. So we got a T20P battery as well to open it up and see how it looks like. The T20P battery is basically very similar to the T40 battery, but it doesn't have the heat sinks here. And it can be charged with the T30 chargers. So these T30 chargers are very helpful because they charge T30 batteries. They're compatible with T30 batteries, T20P batteries, and T40 batteries. So it's the same charger for all three drones. So yeah, so I will put the battery in the battery compartment, push it down. I hear the clicking sound and power it on. So
So you can see now the drone is on, but it is normal that the ESC lights don't come up. A lot of the Agris T30 users contacted us when they purchased the T40 and they were a little concerned with that, but uh, it's normal that the LED lights are off when you turn it on. So I removed the battery. This is the back of the drone. Where the battery goes is the back of uh, the Agris T20P. This is an obstacle avoidance radar. And I want to show you the pump system, which is assembled on the... So I remove this. It's okay, it's just the cover. Then you see the pumps here. And this is a flow meter. So the tank, the liquid comes here. The pumps pump it to the flow meter. It, this is what's helping you uh, to apply the right dosage per acre, how many gallons per acre you want to spray. This is a very important piece of that. And there is a board here that is the spraying module for controlling the flow meter and the pump. 